Hello and welcome to this month's 2 minute tip. I'm going to show you how to fill cloud holes or no data areas in two different classification data sets. So here I have two classified files of the same area on different dates. So we have um, a date in July there and a date in June. Different areas are cloudy in each image so I'm hoping to use one to fill the cloud holes in the least cloudy um, file. However, if you just merge these two and do a direct fill, um, because the classification numbers are different in each image for different feature types, so they're all just um, random classes, so the class for C is 9 in um, this image, and in this one class number is 21. Um, so I'm going to use this model, the fill clouds in classification model, um, and it uses a zonal summary majority um, operator to look over the image, find the areas that overlap, and match the t class values from one to the other. So say over all of these ni nine value areas, so the sort of C colour, um, it'll look all over the nine area and match and get the majority pixel value for the other image as well. So hopefully it'll go all, all the way over and see that 21 is the majority pixel value for the value nine areas in the other date. Okay, so if I press run, I'll get prompts in what file I need to put where. So the classification files um, to be filled is the June date because it's slightly less cloudy and then I've got the July date um, to fill. I'm going to ignore value of zero because my cloud areas have been masked to that value and press OK. OK, now I have my output. I'm going to open that up. OK, so I've opened that up frame and now you can see there's significantly less cloudy areas in this one than there is in the other two. The areas that are still black are unfortunately cloudy in both images so I'd need to use yet another date to fill that information. Nice and close. You can see that those holes there are filled pretty much seamlessly. Thank you for watching this month's two minute tip.